be focusing about one of the built-in handlebar express handlebar helper called loop top right so i'm going to go ahead and set up like a rod for it and there we go we set up a rod and this rod we can we're gonna render our template oops and this template itself we we haven't created yet so we're gonna hold, go ahead and create it it has to be inside a view folder so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna call this one uh, look up that that handlebars and here I can say I am the lookup page itself all right now I'm gonna render this template it's called lookup so we can just render the template here using this and I can set up a rod like look Cool. So look is going to be where we kind of see this uh, template template engine and template itself is going to be rendered. So let's go here. Uh, looked. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we got our template being rendered, right? But well, let's actually send this value to this template and walk you guys through how, how to use uh, the lookup feature itself. Uh, let's say we had it this, uh, we had this object. This object that we have, it's some, the same object as we previously used in the session. It's called user. How can I use it to look up some sort of value based on the key? Well, what we can do is we can head over our lookup things again. Just look up. What we're going to do is we're going to use this built-in helper itself. It's used a little bit differently. So we can do lookup. And then we tell it what are the things that we want to look into. Is it an array or is it is it an object so we can just look up into the user which is the object and then we tell it which key that would like to look for the value for this case if i want to look for the value of ask me sterling it's holding into the key called user username so i can just pass username here and this will indeed should be returning whatever value the username is using check this out and now i have ask me sterling itself now, if I want to use for a different key, I can look for, you know, for phone itself and go ahead and get, you know, whatever value of the phone number. So it's really useful whenever you're using, you're searching for key value pair of stuff. Now let's, let's take the case of we had an array and we wanted to look for certain index of the array itself. Like we wanted to, uh, let's see what we got over here. So we can have people and there you go. We got our array as well. So let's say we wanted to look for whichever thing that is in the first place. Like we know the length of the array, so we wanted to look for the first item. So what we can do is we can say, all right, let's look for the array. The array itself, it's holding the people. So we're going to access it by doing people. And then we look in that array. And what we want is we want the first item inside the array, which is referring as zero. And then we can go ahead and do that. And as you guys can see, it's getting gem because gem is considered as the first item inside the array. What if we wanted to look for the the the, the third item, which is zero, one, two? So I'll do the same thing as two, and that's technically gonna get the third item that is inside the array. So this is how the lookup built-in helper works. It's a little bit different than the other one. You just use lookup and you tell it which of the either array or object you want to look for and you tell it whichever key or index is that you want to look for so that's really useful if you want to use it all right guys i think this is everything i had for you in the next section uh, we're going to be focusing about how to build in our custom express handlebar helper like we're going to learn how to build different type of helpers just like the built-in helpers that express handlebar had himself where well, we're going to try to build our own